So we have here two, two festivals, one uh, in Inyambare, Mozambique, and the other one in, in Lilongwe, Malawi. Um, Cinema Meo and Cinema was an initiative, uh, but um, the idea was to organize an annual film festival aiming at dissemination from African cinematic culture and promotion of cinema as part of the urban and popular culture. The main objective of the festival is to make historical and contemporary African cinema available to a local public. From 2010 to th 2013, for four successive years, it was staged in Inyambane, Mozambique, as Cinema Meo. In October 2015, the festival moved to Lilongwe, Malawi, with the new name Cinema. The festival is originally conceptualized as an initiative by a group of individuals, including film scholars, architects, urban planners, musicians, and social activists. It grew beyond the boundaries of Mozambique, and from 2016, takes place at Malawi, Lilongwe. The festival looks upon a history of more than 15 years of what is widely understood as African cinema. This growing cultural archive, however, is difficult to access on the continent whence it emerges. The festival is a non-commercial initiative and is based on voluntary work. There are no entrance fees for a screening, which allows a diverse audience to enjoy the festival, literally, from street kids to public dignitaries. The initiative undertakes the reflection and dissemination of this his history by making cinema available to a local public. In order to achieve this goal, the festival provides a conscious mix of formats, lengths and genres, as the program encompasses both long and short films, documentaries and feature films, as well as docu-fictions. Additionally, the festival is not only aims to contribute to straightening a, a collective memory, but also to promote cinema as part of urban and popular culture as an inspiration to initiate social, political, and cultural discussions. It also invites local filmmakers to emphasize the momentum of the festival as a platform for public debate. The festival hopes to contribute to the future of African filmmaking while celebrating and documenting past and contemporary African cinema. Um, we are here in Mozambique, Sub-Saharan Africa. Inyambane is a very tiny city. The municipal territory has 56,000 uh, inhabitants, but in the city it's only 12,000 inhabitants. Um, Inyambane is 500 kilometers north of Maputo, the capital of Mozambique. They had um, a long history, um, s like uh, from it was a strategic point for the slaves, slaves traffic, also before Portuguese, uh, by the also in the Arab Empire. It has a very singular uh, language called Bitonga or Gitonga. In Mozambique, there are f 24 languages. And uh, it was well known what Vasco da Gama used it as a port on the road to the uh, Indians. Um, the city of Inyambane is on the edge of the uh, Indian Ocean. And it's uh, the second story city after the island of Mozambique that we, we talk about. That it's like it's a um, uh, World Heritage Site. Um, so the city is like a, um, it's a very tiny city, very with incredible architecture, uh, just like uh, and has this um, mood that it was sleeping in time. One of the main um, objectives of the festival was uh, to put in value this architecture. Um, there are many incredible architect, uh, art deco buildings. One of them, of course, cinema. Cinemas are also well known <laughs> because of uh, uh, art deco and, uh, and cinemas are very close 
because of the time and, and they, they, they bo were born together. And uh, this cinema, this picture is, uh, was taken uh, after the second festival. Um, by the first festival, the cinema was very forgotten. Um, we didn't have um, um, chairs. Uh, we didn't have illum lights. Uh, so um, there was, by UNESCO, an inventory of uh, cultural assets. And this inventory took place in the south till the north, till the island of Mozambique. And this inventory was, mm, was done uh, by me as a consultant. And uh, I engaged all my students at the university, Eduardo Monlane. I and we also worked with, um, with, the, um, with the functionaries, hmm? with the government, uh, and the, the people. Uh, so we made this inventory of what was, uh, the, the inventory was uh, classifying all these assets, cultural assets. One of them was buildings and, and urban uh, uh, parts of uh, urban um, groups. So the Cinetopo was one of the, one of the buildings. And with the festival, we, we put it in, in value. We could really buy and renew all the chairs and make it again the cinema um, useful for its function. The team was uh, an one of the main um, um, organizations. Uh, uh, organizations were one of uh, Positivo Mozambique, that's a local NGO. Also the Seño, that's a local enterprise. And many individuals, many students, and activists, Mozambican activists that organized the festival. We got uh, for, for this uh, a lot of support. It was a really hard work. We started in every, every year in March when the festival took place in October. Or we, needed, we, we always need at least nine months to organize the, the event because it was not easy to get the funds to, to this. Um, the Embassy of Lulongwe and the Norwegian Embassy supported a lot the last festival and visionary archives uh, where the where archives where films were. Also Technobrain and for the festival in Mozambique, the a German NGO uh, is called Umverteilen and also VSO, uh, volunteers overseas. And uh, we have also a lot of support of uh, local entrepreneurs and the local hotels that um, gave us um, the possibility to the directors and the filmmakers to come for the festival because they came from the festival and they could present the films and, to and debate it with the public. Uh, the concept of the festival was for f that the, um, it was free for all the audience. We had to create a mechanism to give some tickets and then the people should, after the movie, they should leave because, and that was very, the whole, the whole, the whole event was an, an amazing experience. Um, it was for us to learn how to organize this, this um, festival in, in a very um, little city in the interior of, uh, of, of Mozambique. And then for the people too, who have never been before in, an, in a cinema, to learn how they should behave, how it works in a cinema, and for some people, it was the first time to see that in a whole, in a big screen, and it was a, uh, it was an incredible moment that we we had. Uh, we had also for um, s to support local culture. We had also every night uh, local bands playing. Uh, for example, we have this timbila. Timbila is also it's one of the instruments that is also in world heritage, um, in intangible. Mm -hmm. uh, we have sore. This is a type of dance. It's only for uh, women that dance sore. Uh, local theater groups um, also 
children um, making music from um, children uh, um, no uh, without any home children with a homeless uh, yes orphans mm -hmm. uh, we had to dub the many of the movies to Vitonga because we had some of them translated to Portuguese but many people couldn't read Portuguese. Portuguese is the second language. Yeah? In Mozambique, many people speak more than three languages. This is normal. They are very, they, they can really learn a lot uh, of new languages because they have at home mother or father with different languages and then you have Portuguese as third language and then you have also English and many of them, many of the people speak more English than, um, than Portuguese. Um, Portuguese is the official language because uh, it was a colony till 1975 and uh, after the liberation um, it's still the official language but it's not so uh, bright uh, spoken so if you move a little bit in the interior uh, you need to speak uh, uh, or or any other language that in the familiar. Um, so we made all the all the merchandising, the tickets, the t-shirts, the posters, and the little city was for three days like a whole party. It was incredible. We had the um, cultural groups playing for the for the um, openings and at night, and every night was something going on, and many people were around the cinema. And it was people coming from the interior also because uh, it was like something happening in that little in the little country in the little town. Um, this is an, at the port uh, when people coming from the other side of the bay. There is another city called Mashish, and the people were were traveling for the festival. Uh, so we had a very um, uh, we had to, to think about the concept of it. We have for the first Cinema Meo, Cinema Meo is my cinema. Meo in Portuguese is mine. So Cinema Meo, it was like, it was like, uh, sounds like a uh, like kind of, of song. Uh, we love the, the, the title. And um, we had it for, if you see that's, uh, uh, we have, Maybe for the first day, only one. That's a s short film from, from African democracy. The, uh, then the Saturday, we have three films, and they are mainly from Angola and Mozambique. They are in Portuguese, right? And also on Sunday, it was three days. We had also for the kids, uh, matinee uh, in the morning, uh, some, some films in Portuguese. Um, and we had also for the kids from the from the orphans kids, we had also something like uh, eating, drinking, and having fun before the 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 session start. The second one is larger, as you see. We uh, we started to talk about how to tell a story. The first the first day, then and the sixth of it, and the Friday, it was about the. How, how the cinema was born. Um, cinema and the Institute, National Institute of Cinema uh, was born in the times of the liberation fights. Um, and um, we had uh, three uh, filmmakers that they were uh, documenting the war and the liberation, um, the finally the um, independence. So they, they showed up co uh, short films. Uh, it was really incredible. It was about history. It was about uh, um, coming back again with all these important uh, uh, facts that, uh, that uh, in, from, from the history of, of, of Mozambique. Uh, we put all over the posters and uh, um, people were so 
so amazed about that. Um, we had also um, loudspeakers in motorcycles that were like running, running the, spreading the word, and we had flyers, and we had all the merchandising <laughs> possible. Um, the it grows and grows. As you see, it was more and more films. And then we, we decided to open it more. It was not only Portuguese, it was going to be more international. It was going to be from, um, it comes from every, every, every word was from also from Namibia, from, from uh, well, from Angola, I already said. We had um, a lot of movies from Senegal. This is so much the industry of cinema is so, so well known. We'll, uh, we had from, yes, it's growing and growing from South Africa. Uh, we, um, all, the, all the filmmakers were invited, many of them couldn't come, but we paid the, the, the tickets. Um, it was a kind of a, kind of a party. <laughs> Mm, this is one of the last cinemas, uh, one of the last festivals. Um, it costs more. I had to cut it because uh, after that there was also more things happening. That because uh, in all the city were some events happening uh, supporting the the festival, like uh, movies, like um, um, music, live music, like um, theaters, and the street. So, and um, this was in Malawi. Then when we, mo we moved to Malawi, one of the Positivo Mozambique also spread, and one tile of them, they went to Malawi to work. And um, um, so we, we moved also to, to Matsak Theater. And um, for example, here, this is in Mozambique. We had the, the regisseurs, the um, filmmakers, we have Isabel Noroña, Camilo Sousa, and Liseño de Acevedo. These are the three filmmakers that were uh, at on the documenting the war, and they are they are um, international known as uh, for, um, Mozambican filmmakers. Um, they had the opportunity to talk with the public to present the the films, and uh, this is one of the most important most important f uh, things about the, fest the festival, it was thus that, um, that the, um, the filmmakers, um, they, they said, this is, this is an international film festival. It's not in Maputo because everything happens in Maputo. Uh, it's in a little town. Uh, you are inviting us. You are paying our stay. You are paying our flights. That has never happened to us in our whole lives. Uh, that something happens like this in our country, because we are w more known outside and international than in Mozambique. So uh, this was one of the most uh, um, mm, achievements, I think, nice achievements that the festival had. And uh, it was really incredible. Uh, all the people and the children, and they didn't want to go out. When the, the session was finished, they wanted to stay, and they stayed like this in the chairs. They said, we have to go out, because there are so many people that wanted to, to, came, uh, to come also to, to the next session. And uh, <coughs> it was amazing. It was like a very in, in an incredible experience. It is. That's the filmmakers in Malawi. Um, uh, the one in Malawi was to inspire the new generations. So we had uh, many new uh, younger filmmakers to present their short films and present the, um, their work. It was also very, in very, very nice. It was a three days fever uh, with the public. It was, f we had, of course, we had some movies that were not for children. We had the special matinee for children on Sundays. Uh, and uh, for many of them was the first time, as I said, and it was incredible to see the expressions. And uh, even I, I was uh, w living in Mozambique for eight years. Uh, for me, it was uh, very uh, incredible to see, to, to watch how, um, how 
um, how I need, I still need to know about uh, Mozambique uh, when I see the expressions of the people and looking at the movies and everything. So, um, yes, we had this is this is the the session for the kids. Uh, we have the mamanis, the the, the moms, and the kids, and Sundays. And we have the we have the, we have here Isabel uh, talking with the kids. The kids are really active. They really want to know everything about that, everything about the film. They want to know how did you do that and how did you talk about him. And and it was it's it was really touching. Um, another thing was the the um, we gave every director one uh, souvenir. Uh, this is made from a local artist. And uh, this is part of the Inyamban of the Mozambican culture. It's called Sikelekidane. That is um, kind of uh, um, artesanía, um, handwork. handwork that it documents something that happens on normal life. For example, you have one that is at the market. You have one Sikelekidane uh, at school. You have one at dentist. You have every little or important uh, uh, moment of of the of the culture in this. You can you can you can buy it also at the market. Uh, so we decided to do one for the festival, and we gave any every every regisseur, every filmmaker one of those. And I don't know if they still are making this, but. Uh, <laughs> But it's um, that's just, um, one of the souvenirs of the festival. We had a lot of um, women also participating and being part of the festival. Most of my students that were voluntary were women. Uh, many films were also about. We tried to we tried in every festival to, to support uh, uh, gender. Uh, some they, they were like blocks. No? It was like one from HIV, uh, some about gender, about what is development, or what kind of development do we want? That, does Africa want? Um, it was like thematically uh, arranged the films. This is also in Malawi, one of the films that was shown, and. Uh, We are going to see, watch one of the one short film. It was a very nice one from South Africa. One of the filmmakers was at the festival also and presented there, and it was a really, it's a very short film. It's only 20 minutes. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 